Santos Cristianos this morning. We've got some strong southerly winds which are bringing some southerly swell straight into Los Cristianos. The wind shift started to jive but it's come back. What are you colouring, Evangeline? What is it? What's this? Duck. A duck. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else is there to colour? A chicken. Duck. A bird. Duck. Yeah. Horsey. We've just dropped anchor in El Medano and Evangeline is absolutely loving watching all the windsurfers. She keeps going up to the window and pointing, getting really excited, which is nice to see. At least she's not going to be too bored while we're hunkered down from the strong winds. The windsurfers, are they out there? Not that you can really tell from this video, but it was windy enough that I got up in the night to check we weren't dragging, but we were fine. The winds dropped quite a bit this morning. It was a bit of a crazy night. I actually slept really quite well though. I don't think it was as windy as it sounded, but I think when you're in the bow and you can hear the malliards, the malliards? The halliards banging on the mast, even though Liam tried multiple times to stop them banging, and you can feel the chain pulling, well, the snubber pulling, as uh, we are pushed backwards by the wind and feel the, the big gusts come through that push us right to the side. Yeah, it was a very windy night but it's much calmer this morning. Hopefully it's going to be a calmer day. The wind picked back up again so it was another day of staying on the boat.
and just like that, the wind dropped and we had a lovely peaceful sunset in the cockpit. What a peaceful night we had last night. It's weird to have such a non rolly night. In the Canary Islands, it's, well, for us anyway, it's always just been rolly rolly all the time. And so last night, it was, yeah, I actually didn't even sleep as well as usual because it was just so weird. It was so silent. I mean, not completely silent, but there was no... <coughs> oh, a cheeky monkey. There was a cheeky monkey. That's what was keeping me awake. But there was nothing banging around, nothing clattering, nothing falling over. No slap of waves on the hull. What, 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 what? Come here then. Ugh. It was wonderful. And one day, when we actually make it out of the Canary Islands, that might become the norm. <laughs> Calm anchorages like this. <laughs> we pulled up anchor and set sail a few miles down the coast to Marina San Miguel. Unfortunately the fish died pretty quickly and it looked way too small to eat. If we were going to an anchorage we could have kept it for bait but we're not, we're going to a marina so it's gone back to, to the ocean to be eaten by something higher up in the food chain. Well probably it's a scavenger, probably something lower in the food chain. Oh well. the rainbow. Does that mean that it's raining over there? Yeah. It's pretty black clouds over We can't enter the marina yet, so we're just hanging around outside. Pretty annoying, but it seems everybody's turned up at once. <laughs> Let's check out our track from yesterday. 
So we ended up spending an hour and 20 minutes doing these circles round and round until they finally let us in because apparently somebody was in the berth that we were supposed to go into and the waiting dock was full. So an hour and 20 minutes of circles. It's our last day on the boat. We're flying home tomorrow. I plan to do loads of washing. But guess what? It's torrential rain. This is the first time that we've been in the Canary Islands and we've had rain like this. So, if you can hear me over the rain, probably not. Maybe I should do it on the later. Yeah, off on the later. out for a meal our last night in Tenerife so that we don't need to do any washing up and just to uh, celebrate commiserate whatever we're gonna go out for an Italian on this windy wet evening just preparing us for life back in the UK in December wet and miserable <laughs> now it's gonna be good this is the family it's gonna be the best so this is the situation by the way why Today is our last day in Tenerife and oh, the camera is so shaky. Oh, I'm walking through big puddles, can't see where I'm going. Um, so we worked on mainsail. We've had a few quotes from sailmakers in the Canary Islands and they've all been around 2,000 euros. So pretty pricey. And we, they've said that it's going to take at least six weeks. going sweetheart I know especially in puddles is fun at least six weeks for the sale to be made and back to us which would lead us to the end of our um, Schengen visa so we decided actually what we're gonna do as it's coming right up to Christmas is we're gonna fly back to the UK just for a couple of weeks spend Christmas with family and there are lots of places in the UK where you can buy second-hand sales we haven't really found anywhere in the Canary Islands where we could get a second-hand sale there's quite a few in the UK and they're only about 300 pounds so yeah we're gonna get a second-hand sale in the UK and then bring it on the flight as oversized baggage heavy baggage whatever and we come back out so that's the plan only away for a few weeks and we'll have a sale when we come back sorry we're shouting wondering what's going on So yeah, it's kind of deja vu, we're in Marina San Miguel, like we were last year, saying goodbye to the boat again, but it's not for three months this time, it's just for a few weeks. And I just want to say thank you so much to our patrons and to people who have stuck with us all this time, who have been watching from the beginning, who are not friends and family and have stayed with us. Thank you so much. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe and consider becoming a patron. Thanks so much guys. Big adventures coming soon. Sweet, How are you doing? Did you have a good sleep? You just want the milkies.